uh, fellow YouTubers, I come back to you with an uh, unboxing on one of the most highly acclaimed fighting animes of all time in the shonen genre. The legendary, the one, the only, Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start by opening this package over here. I guess you can call this an unbubbling, since it is in bubble wrap. But, here we go. So, uh, fellow niggas and niggas, senores y senoritas. It's been a while since you've seen me. Gotta give you an update on my current status while I'm doing this video. But now, uh, this your boy S Review coming back with another video on this special unboxing on uh, the Yu Yu Hakusho bundle or the Yu Yu Hakusho movie. I want to say movies or the OVAs. Um, the movie and Eizo Hakusho. And I guess what they mean by the movie, it has the golden seal on it. And I'm sorry for the uh, misconceptions on my other video where I said that um, the Portuguese report is going to be redubbed. Y'all know I got y'all hyped for that shit and I know people have been getting in my ass about that video. But I don't know when they will get the license for that Portuguese report. Uh, from what I've heard, US manga is still, like it still has the rights to that, uh, that DVD. So ain't no telling, but when they do, I hope they do get it on Blu-ray and get like a digital remaster and a good transfer for that Blu-ray. But uh, it's going to give you guys a discussion on what I'm expecting up in this right here. So, uh, didn't really get a chance to see the, the original ones and I'm glad I didn't because what I've heard, I heard the dubs were just horrible. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't see the movie in its entirety. Let me just go ahead and rephrase that. I saw bits and pieces of it on YouTube but the quality wasn't 240p. And, you know, ain't nobody watching no 240p videos no more. We didn't got out of this shit since 200 and I mean 2007, 2006. Now, where is my fucking knife at? I ain't never got a knife to do these videos, man. Oh, damn! I could probably open this shit with my teeth. Nah. See, don't you just wish you had like a some teeth like um Kirsten Dunst or Avril Lavigne? You know they got them sharp baby teeth up in their mouth. Wish I had her as a girlfriend. She could open these things up easily for me. Oh, got a key right here. Yeah, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna update you guys on my current status. So the thing is, like, I haven't been able to make videos as consistent as I want to because of the production value of my videos. I'm not feeling that it's up to up to par of uh, the previous videos that I've been giving you guys. And just having a good camera with good quality, man, it just raises your confidence level. You know, I was more confident than I was now, you know. And I really need to get back to that level. I've been going to work consistently. I've been trying to get as much hours as I can in. I've been taking everybody else's hours on the slide. Niggas been mad at me, boy. Boy, I tell you. I'm trying to get 40 hours in a week at least so I can get everything back to the way they were. And try to get some more, um reviews for you guys i want to try to like when i do review these movies and these dvds like when i did with tech and blood Adventures, i want to give you visuals of the movies you know and try to capture it with my capture of device but my sony vegas pro uh my sony sony vegas pro it pretty much just shut down on me and it got like a like a like i don't know like an error just came up and said um did i need to buy the other one and i, I pretty much hacked it and everything but I don't know, but if you guys know about any patches or anything, because I've been looking on YouTube and I can't find the right patch. I found one, but it worked for a second, but it just stopped working. So if you guys know of any patches I can use to get a, a legit version of Sony Vegas Pro, let me know. But see, you got that right there. Let you get a good look at the case right there. I remember last time I messed it up. You know, I didn't give you guys a good view of the case. Give you the back right there. Boom. Boom. We'll just say, uh, death is only the beginning. Yu Yu Hakusho. So, um, what I'm looking forward to in this DVT, I am looking forward to hearing all the original voices. Justin Cook, my man Christopher Sabat, the man that's in all the Funimation, um, licensed animes. Chuck Huber better be back playing he ate. And I'm also looking forward to John Bergemeyer. 
Uh, did I say that right? Is it John Bergemeyer that plays? Um, yes, John Ber Bergemeyer that plays what's the name? Um, damn, I can't even think of that name right now. Karama, Karama. My bad, my bad. Looking forward to that. This quality is gonna be amazing too. Oh yeah. I also want to get into a discussion with you guys on the recently released trailer for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Yes, uh, that trailer right there was awesome. And I also want to talk about the VGAs and how I feel about the VGAs because the VGAs to me was like a crap fest. You know, it's been stale for the past couple of years. I was expecting to see things back to the way they were, like with um, more cutscenes and more skits from our favorite video games, like do parodies and redubs. But they, for some reason, they didn't show that, and like they relied too much on star power. Like they had people that we didn't even know, and people like from Comedy Central, like these idiots. I don't know what their names were. I didn't like. I just didn't know anybody. The reject guy from the um, the Jonas Brothers, Kevin Jonas, I think the fat one. Oh, uh, some bitch with a katana cutting up fruits and shit. And Charlie Sheen, for some reason, I guess since he was like the biggest highlight of 2011, the biggest fail of 2011, had him up in there, not winning. You know what I'm saying? And then Shingiro Miyamoto was there, and he also got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Kudos to him, and also kudos to my boy Black Baron for, you know, being over there and getting his moment of a uh, spotlight. For some reason, people are just hating on my boy, but the Metal Gear Rising trailer, man, it looks very interesting. I like how it does have, um, that overall atmosphere of Metal Gear Solid and it has some of the textures like the graphics and textures on it do kind of look a little play compared to a previous installment like Metal Gear Solid 4 which is uh, is mentioned that uh, Kojima will not have his hand totally up in this project it's going to be developed by Platinum Games you might know them from Bayonetta and you also know the guy that worked on Devil May Cry worked on Bayonetta so you know it's going to have something to do with more action more stylish variations of combos. I'm hoping that this game doesn't have them out in the open too much. I'm hoping that it does incorporate stealth into the gameplay. And the way I want them to do this, I want them to have him moving fast as hell to where the human eye can't even keep up with his move. You know, have him like he's like a blur. Like when somebody sees him and they look to the side, it's like a little blurred rain, but they can't tell. I hope they do that. And I'm also eager to see where the story is going to follow. We don't know if it picks up after Metal Gear Solid 4 or if it's going to be, be a prequel. In my opinion, I think it's going to be a prequel because the way of his uh, appearance riding the main protagonist, the, the suit looks different from what we did see up in Metal Gear Solid 4 when he made his uh, cyborg appearance. It looks like he's not really fully up to par, you know, like his body is still in construction because the lower part of his jaw isn't there. It's like... It only has like this part right here and then he has a bandage over his eye so I don't know if he's just not getting the cybernetic body or if he's back in the cybernetic body because the spoil stuff for you he does have a, a what's the name you know he does have a, a son or whatever and he does get his original body back yeah so who knows maybe um that's just my prediction the gameplay I just want it to be more stealthier with more action and my predictions for what they're going to do with the gameplay, since it does rely on accuracy in different slants and different motions of when you like swipe your sword or whatever, because you know that boy was getting down with that sword, I think it's going to like, rely uh, solely on the analog for every time you do like accurate swipes or you're just going to be putting it all over the place. But I hope it doesn't get too sloppy. I'm hoping that we do get more button action, you know. But I like how my boy was... um demonstrating his strength you know right he is as strong as a fucking uh giant mech he's equal to the uh, the potential of a giant mech because we've seen him stop these giant other uh, things before like the metal gear geckos and also got a chance to see him fight with some of the metal gear rexes up in mgs4 and the biggest pivotal moment for him was stopping that giant um outer haven ship that liquid oxalot uh, was controlling. He actually stopped that for a brief second after he got squashed and he, you know, rose. You remember that part? Got totaled and destroyed. But uh, yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. Tell me, you guys, what you think about the new uh, Yu Yu Show movie one and OVA if you already copped it. And also tell me what you think about the new Metal Gear Rising Revengeance trailer that's going to be coming out. Don't know when it's going to come out. At least give us a release date, you know. 
But uh, yeah, this is your boy S Review coming in with another video. I will catch you guys later. Peace.